Well, I just watched the OpenAI developer live stream, and to say that it was exciting is a massive understatement. That is crazy how cool this is like epic stuff going on with the agents and the app SDK and the app builder. So I have just logged into this for the first time. Let's um let's just have a bit of a look around and see what we can do that's interesting. So they've got some templates here. Um and so I've had some experience with N8N and Flowwise. And so I guess there's some familiarity here with this. It looks like a pretty normal kind of thing you would expect for an agent builder. <clears throat> uh, even the Google one, I guess, is pretty similar. So let's have a look at the notes. So we've got to start, input as text. Okay, so then run moderation controls. That's pretty cool. This is um, this is the sort of stuff that businesses are very concerned about. So that is quite cool. Okay, and if it fails, it goes to nowhere. Otherwise, classification agents. So classify the user's intent into one of the following categories. Return item, subscription, get information. Okay. Right, so this is like a chat you'd have on a website, I guess. Oh, interesting they put... 4.1 mini, all right. Um, I wonder why they didn't put five in there. Okay, uh, okay, so return agent, offer replacement device with free shipping. It's pretty basic instructions. Retention agent, get retention offers. Information agent. Um, this is pretty cool. Okay, so does the user approve? Does this work for you? Okay. Yeah, wow. All right. So preview. I have a faulty clock. Jailbreak guardrail. What's it sending? Okay, just a string of text. Yep. Oh, that is cool. Huh. Okay, so it's asking a question and then it's got the buttons for it. Oh, that's exciting. Huh. Wow. Okay. Ah, fascinating. Okay. So user approval is like the human in the loop component. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Okay. What else have they got here? Um, how do you get back to the templates? No idea. I'll just delete this one. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get rid of that. Yes, I want to delete the workflow. <clears throat> all right, cool. Planning helper. Okay, triage. You're an assistant, gathers details. Business initiative. Create conditions to branch your workflow. Input. Input is text, triage. Okay. Launch an agent helper. Huh, interesting. I wonder why they're using 4.1 for everything. Okay, that's very cool. Um, what's this? Internal knowledge assistant. Query rewrite. Oh, uh, okay, that's cool. Yep. So it's improving the query. Oh, they've put GPT-5 here. Okay, so it's improving the query. Determine whether the question should is QA fact finding. Okay, so this is like 
deciding <clears throat> what the, the gate is. Okay, so, all right, so this is, it's outputting the JavaScript JSON object. That's the name and it's enumerating, select the right operating procedure. Okay, Q and A, fact finding other. Yeah, cool, okay, that makes sense. And then it goes to an agent on each end. So that's its prompt or its instructions. GPT-5, it's got web search. What else is here, verbosity, display responses. Okay. Okay, code interpreter. What is that doing? Okay. Explore websites, relevant data. Okay. An agent. Interesting. Okay, so if we preview this, uh, to start a business that provides uh, pineapple tops to nurseries. <clears throat> Alright, so it's going to rewrite the query. Okay, so the reason here, uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so then it did some research. Okay, so it's doing, this is the fact finding. Okay, so we'll say Queensland, Australia. Uh, 100 per month, just unrooted, I should we'll say like freshly cut or loose roots, ready to go, just a hobby project business to test the idea, delivery locally in southeast Queensland. Minimal cost, just to prove the idea, prove the concept. See what it gives with that, okay? Okay, so it's rewriting it again. Yeah. Uh, interesting, okay. So this is it's making sure that each input is really context rich. That's very cool. Okay. And see, then it's able to hand that off to the fact finding agent with like quite useful information in it. Rather than like expecting the fact finding agent to do all of the sort of like exploratory part. So yeah, it's a good, like this is the loop. So you, you fit, put in some information and then it sends it off to like a specialist to do the work. Okay. Cool. So what is that? Oh, that's the log. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So you can see what happened. All right. Very cool. Okay. I like it. That is awesome. And what else have we got? Document comparison. How do I get rid of this again? 